so that's that's some some measurements next thing to do of course is to find something to draw on a lot of designers work on paper I don't I work on sheets of plywood or hardboard uh, I find that that way my drawings don't get soggy <laughs> they last longer that way and always in a workshop of anything to do with me there's odd sheets of plywood and hardboard and stuff so next job is to find a nice piece make sure it's got nothing already drawn on it and then do some dimensional stuff and start thinking what we want to end up with is a frame that that will sit on without touching the tensioning hoop thingy without bearing against the head and without touching the tuning pegs or the strings so it wants to be I think the support wants to be uh, yeah I, I think the support bracket ought to be around about there on the instrument it needs to lay back so it won't fall off and it needs to be stable the stand itself needs to be stable and a simple fact of life is a three-legged stall is always more stable than a four-legged one because sometimes the floor you put it on isn't flat so three feet not four with a long sort of jobby with a, a bracket on and I might even put a sort of restraining strap across it so that you know it, it, it can be stored safely so that, that's that's what we'll be up to for a little while